I'm Craig Grant and this is Cobweb Maths where I'm going to show you how to construct an awesome mathematical learning machine from a cardboard box. You'll need one of these if you want your son or daughter to learn their multiplication tables. This will take them only about five minutes a day for a month or two if they use a flip box. It's fun and it's effective because it's audio, visual, kinesthetic and it engages the brain. Students who know their tables are more confident and successful in mathematics than those who don't. For your flip box you will need a cardboard box like this and a cereal packet like this so that you can use it for, uh, for the cardboard to construct the flip box. You also need some package tape like this. You will need a pair of scissors and a craft knife. You will need a ruler and a marker pen. And to make the flip cards, you'll need some cardboard like this. This is A4, right? And it's quite thin. Okay? And you mark the side like the, the side like this. And that's the cards are five centimeters by four centimeters. So you can fit four cards across and you can fit seven cards down. Alright? No, I think it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, yeah, eight cards. So it's 32 cards. So you need two sheets. Um, in a moment I'll go to the whiteboard and I'll show you what to do. Uh, I don't know if you can see there's some marks here. I'll put marks in there um, and what I'm going to do is just a minute I've got the pen here where I've shaded in here I'm going to cut those out okay all right I've drawn a picture of the uh, flip box uh, to scale see so here's the actual flip box now, what I first do is I measure from there to there. So that distance across from there to there is 8 centimeters. Uh, and then I measure from that mark to that one, from there to there, which is 7. Now that's the critical distance, 7 centimeters. So the way I come up with the 8, this is 30, 20, sorry, 23 centimetres long. I take away 7 centimetres from 23 and I get 16 and then I halve it. So I've got 8 from here to here, 8 from there to there, and 8 from there to there. There's the box. Right? Measures 8 from there to there and 8 from there to there. Then I then move that way and three centimeters and this is going to be the hole. This is where you're going to put the cards and this is where the cards are going to come out. Right now once I've measured up the box, see the first step is eight centimeters to there, seven centimeters to there, come back three centimeters, draw another line, come back three centimeters, draw another line, take your craft knife Here's your craft knife and you just cut down there and there and there and there. See, I've already done that. I'll put it here. That's been cut there and there. And then I've used the scissors. And what you do is you just slip the scissors in under there and cut it like that. Then you can open it up like a door. And then you can take your craft knife like this and just cut it along carefully along the edge like I'm doing now just got to be careful I don't cut myself here we are and it's off and you cut the other three off and there you have it so that's the first step right the measuring and the cutting out of the holes and then I'll show you how to fit the half tubes now the half tubes 
will be made out of this and I have to cut one strip out of here and one strip out of this side so it's that wide it's got to be as wide as this so that strip will be 9.5 so I'll go away and do that and then I'll come back and we'll do the rest of the video all right now we're going to start fitting the inserts I've fitted the first insert which is the big one that goes in the back it's 21.5 centimeters long it's the 9.5 high and we'll show say wide and the bend the bend here here the fold right there is 1.5 centimeters from either end so here it is here that's the real thing here is the flip box and notice how the bend is that way away from uh, the, the clear cardboard now all I would do to fit it is you, is you put that fold in first you put this around in here get it out then you put that down there and you put that down there and there's the first bit of the half tube there now that's been cut off to size now I'm going to show you how the process I go to to do to get to get the right length first of all I'll take a ruler here like this put it there 1.5 centimeters from the end bend it like that right then I've got to feed this through here and I've got to feed it that way right, so I'll feed it through here it is, oh I've got it the wrong way around that way it's got to be fit that way so I feed that in there and I bend it there then what I do is I push it until I think I get the get it about right and then I'll mark it then I'll take that out and put my ruler here again and then I'll bend it there and then I'll get my scissors and cut it off there so that's about one and a half centimeters there right uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go away and I'm going to tape all this together uh, then I'll show you the flip box in action okay now we come to the action part um, the, your child is sitting there and they've got a stack of cards they pick up a card they look at it they say four times four they put it into the flip box it comes out 16 they pick up another card 4 times 5 put it into the flip box whoops didn't go in let's do it this time 4 times 5 20 this card here is 4 times 3 they say 4 times 3 they put it into the flip box out it comes as 12 so it's audio because you've got to say something it's kinesthetic because you're fiddling around with things with your hands um, it's you're watching it and you're using your brain right the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to make flip cards because you don't want to make a mistake about this all right here's your flip card You've just written four times four on your flip card. You then flip it over like this, and then you write 16 on it. All right, and the 16 will go on upside down. Because look, there's 16 there. If I put it this way, the four times four is upside down. So we'll go through it again. You write four times four on the card, you flip it over. And then you write 16 on the other side. So that's all you have to do. You've got to make sure the answers are upside down on the other side. And we're done.